Hello guys, it is Kathens here, and this is my first commentary in quite a while. Uh, I was just in Costa Rica for two weeks, and now I am hopping right back on the YouTube scene. I just flew in back to California uh, just this afternoon, and I'm making this commentary late at night tonight. But anyways, I'm going to get back into it. While I was in Costa Rica, I got quite a few more subscribers, so I'd like to thank you if you have subscribed, and uh, be sure to come see, check out some more of my videos, and enjoy. So, we got SND number 12 for you today. SND number 11 was posted over a month ago, and I was looking at my vault. I have 12 SND gameplays in my vault that I should have uploaded for you guys by now, but I don't know why I haven't been uploading them. I'm very sorry about that, because the roots of my channel basically come from Search and Destroy, and I need to get back to posting Search and Destroy. So most of my videos in the f near future, as in the next two or three weeks are going to be pure search and destroy and today you know we really don't have a bad game and I'm not fast forwarding any parts of the video because I wanted to talk a lot in this game so let's start I am using my favorite class you know UMP like a rapid fire focus you know uh, I'm pretty good with this class and I wanted to talk about Life as it is. How's it going? Um, yeah, I was in Costa Rica for two weeks. I went to a small village called Baruca in Costa Rica, and it's very interesting there because it, the it's a third world country and it's very different. I didn't get any Wi-Fi for basically the whole trip. I didn't have any uh, form of TVs and any of that. I didn't get any news. I didn't. I was obviously wasn't able to play Xbox, so. It was a lot different than it is here in America, so it's great to be back home. It's great to be able to hop back on my Xbox, even though I am so bad. I just was trying to play, and when you don't play Call of Duty for two weeks, you suck, like, a lot. So, that's the deal with that. So, if you play with me in the next day or two, just know that I might not be too good, but that is okay. So, I'm just going to talk some about the gameplay. That's what S&D series are about. So, here we go. We are... If you saw that, that was a nice little double tap Y kill there. And we got... Uh, we're going to go try go through the pipe again. Go, we're going to try to go through the pipe. Yeah. And this guy knew I was coming. I should never have gone through that pipe a uh, second time. They know I'm going to come. So, that is not good. And it's pretty good, I think. Considering that I started my channel in the middle of Modern Warfare 3 and I haven't really come up with any original ideas for this game because there's not a lot left. I hope to be more original when Black Ops 2 comes out and that is something I am looking forward to and hopefully I will gain a lot more subscribers from that. But that's not important at the moment. So anyways, while we spectate these guys, I just want to say for all of you who are... uh who I know in real life, let's get this straight. I know them in real life and they're purposely disliking my videos if you read my comment section. Just note that when you are disliking or leaving a rating to my video, you're getting it more popular, which means that there's more people viewing the video to, uh, to potentially like and subscribe. So just note that for all of you who I know in real life, Purposely leaving dislikes because you think it is negatively affecting my videos and my channel. You're actually getting it more popular. I just wanted to make that clear. So, just take note of that. Because you guys, a lot of you guys are like disliking my videos and like thinking that's such a bad thing. And it's just getting my video more views, which I'm fine with. Because it, when you guys dislike a video, it appears on your feed. And then anybody who looks at your channel can go check out my channel. It's this huge chain that just works. So just take note of that before you hit the dislike button. But that's just what I wanted to say while we were spectating the guys. And we're going to get back into the gameplay here. So while I purposely, not purposely, where I unluckily died because I took a bad route through the pipe. I'm going to get back at it here. 
and this round is not a bad round. I think I get four kills this round, and I start out pipe, but then I'm going to go back to B-bomb, because that's where their whole team seemed to be going this uh, round, so that's where I went, and this round I had amazing gun skill. I found my sensitivity this game. It was six, and I don't know what it was about six, but I liked it. It's pretty random pretty random sensitivity anyways but here we go so I killed that one guy at the bomb there and I am going to take out another guy in a sec and then we're gonna run over to the left side over here and we're gonna take out one more guy uh, you'll see that come up there we go right there and now we're gonna pick up the scar L and I didn't even mean to pick up the scar L I meant to reload or fake defuse the bomb but I picked up the Scar L, it didn't matter. I still took the guy out and I defused the bomb. So that's four kills that round. I am 10 and 2, and we are going on to the final round. I didn't want to die because I didn't want to ruin the gameplay. I mean, that's pretty obvious. So I played it a little defensive at first, but when my whole team moved up to their spawn, I moved up to their spawn, and I got a pretty nice kill cam to finish off this pretty good gameplay. Even though I died twice, I think the rounds really aren't bad besides that one lousy round so let's go through this basically chilling around here I see them on recon but obviously they're snipers in the back left or the front left if you're looking towards the recon guys they're to my left right now there are peop snipers over there that are waiting for you when you turn around the corner and you saw there was a sentry gun there I was just trying to figure out what the hell I want to do so when I saw them pushed up I would just was like screw it I'm gonna run in and I saw my teammate die there I knew that he would be up in the window because that's where everybody goes kind of I don't know what it was it was kind of like how I'm marksman knows where people are on a daily basis but anyways that's a nice wall bang kill cam if you saw that that was a wall bang just so you know thank you guys for listening it's captains like favorite subscribe I gotta be quick see ya